In this video, we'll look at the difference when we're updating between uh, setting and pushing. Okay, and we can see it right here with our first two documents. You see, this Pokemon key is null, which means we can't use the push or the pull operator on it because it's not an array. Whereas this one is an array, and so we can use push and pull uh, on this uh, key in this document. Okay, so let's add another dragon type um, to, to this document right here, okay, which is an already an array. So we've got Jatini in there, and we'll add one more dragon type. So I'm going to do an update one here, and we'll get our query section ready, or our filter section, and then there's going to be our update action in the second section. Okay, so the, we want to affect one document here. So that's for Dragon, so my query or filter section will be on the ID itself. We'll find the document that has that object ID. And then, in this query section, now we're going to refer to the push operator. Rather than pull, this one will add an element to the array. So then we start off by saying, here's the key, Pokemon, that is the array itself. And when we do push, we actually have to nest that value in uh, object notation. So we're going to say the Pokemon key uh, will add to it this object. And I've got one waiting in the wings here, and Notepad will do Charizard. Okay, and we'll add that in. Okay, so let me just make this a little wider for you, and you can see uh, where things begin and end here. So let's do that. That's for the Pokemon, and there's for the push operation itself. Okay, so again, just to go through the curly bracket notation, the entire section, that's my query, that's my update section, uh, and then uh, push requires key value pairs, so that's uh, the curly brackets there, and then when we refer to the array, we're adding an object in, and so that's the final nesting. All right, so we'll run that. We should see one matched and one modified. Okay, and we'll double check to make sure that looks good. And we should see now in the Dragon document, yes, we've got two uh, Pokemon in there now. Now, when we look at adding to the fighting type, then we have to go back to set. We have to overwrite this key because we can't use push and pull because it's not an array. Okay, so here's a fighting type, and I did not know this existed. I did not know I was in the Pokédex. Marshado, Marshado. All right, the way you want to say it, let me copy this. It's a fighting type. I like that I'm a fighting type. Okay, and let's do an update one. But rather than push, we're going to go set. Overwrite the key right now, the Pokemon key, and I'll just take this object away and add this one in. But the only difference is if we're going to make it an array, then we just need to put array syntax around this opening object here. So now we have an array of one element, right? And the only thing I need to change is grab the new ID. So this will be for this fighting type ID. So I make sure I catch the right document here. And I'll modify that with the new value. OK, so now we see the difference between set and push and pull. Okay, we can see now that the Pokemon key for the fighting type now is an array. It has one element, so from here on in, we can do push and pop. Okay, I guess the other thing you could have done was, you know, set it to an empty array and then push it in, but might as well just put it in in one step here. All right, very good. So in the next video, we'll start talking about um, how do we affect do updates on uh, these nested things, these things that are inside of arrays.